I don't know, it's probably only for... We're gonna start with divers and bait today. You are barbers and bait. Um, I'm just gonna drift fish first, right in the spot for a minute, and then we'll go to divers and bait, and we'll run it right down the middle of the river. Cause we got we got competition coming, so we need to hit this hole before they get here. That hot pink spinner has caught so many fish. It's nice and sharp. Check its castability. Spinning around like a freaking pillow hole is. What you got, buddy? Usually it's a cutthroat. That's a cutthroat. You see you on cutthroat. Looks like you hooked him in a funny spot. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you're a skinny little dude. Whoa. In a survival situation. Thanks for playing. Got off. There we go, right behind the boat. Jumping like a coho. I can get the small that's fish. A chinook, I mean, that's a little jack. It is that's a little jack. Huh? jump. We'll get some footage. If he doesn't shake it, he's freaking. Man, that is a tiny fucking jack. Crazy. Those guys are about to net something. Probably a Chinook that they got on. Is this a Chinook jack? He's got, that he's got big spots. Oh, that's a Chinook jack. This one's fin clips though. Sweet, this place is gold and the fish are being all quiet. Oh, the log. Oh, the spot. And right over there too. Oh, that's crony. Yeah, let's get a good far. look at him at least. Oh, that'd be a nice little leader. Man, that is chrome. Beautiful. And there it goes. <laughs> going, yeah, see you back at the ocean. <laughs> He's trying to go back with his buddy. I'll just go back with my buddies over here. 
Here's that light ass line and the tiny ass pole that I put together out of some crap. <laughs> Got a weird bend to it. <laughs> yes, it does. I just grabbed two pieces of pole from your yard and stuck them together with some tape. Until he gets bored. You want to see him? I can't tell yet. He's got a weird scar though. Is it about plug size? You go around the front? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> He's wanting to go back there. Like with his buddies over there. If I could just make it back to my buddies. I got that. Could be six or seven pounds. Let's get an assessment if we can. You got a slate. Oh, yeah. God, he's all fucked up. Look at him. Yeah, what is that? Eel? eel bite. Yeah, is that eel bite? Eel bite. Here, well, that line is very, very, very tiny. <laughs> it is some tiny ass line. Man, it's beautiful except for the nasty. Yeah, if I had the Jack Chinook, that'd be a delicious little treat. What is a Jack Chinook? Good, we might get to eat this one. Huh? Ooh, he's <laughs> going for it. <laughs> oh, that's a coho. Imagine that. You got a fin? Oh, darn it. Let it go. At least we got something to the boat. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's been a while. One of those. Oh, do it again. All right. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Look at this short tree that fucking hangs out of the bin. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Got a fin, but dude, I cast it out there and I reeled in. I lifted my row out of the water, he jumped out of the water. <laughs> right there. So I cast it, I just went like this. I just casted it right there, and <laughs> he chopped on it. <laughs> <laughs> you go ahead and have fun with fish. <clears throat> hey, the nutrient turd. Little wild one. Not look too bad, is it? Yeah, try to get the pliers on and give them a, a gentle Appreciate goodbye. It. Dude, you sure be. Put your finger on. I'm using six pound test. <laughs> Toby's got another fish on. That's about our tenth fish, but we haven't got any keepers yet today. So, if this isn't the keeper, probably gonna go home. If we can keep it on long enough to see what it is. <laughs> having a rough time today keeping fish on. This one's got spunk, though. Bigger than the one we had. <laughs> Start going for those logs. What are you doing down here, fish? What's your status? Silver Under the boat, there it is. Got a fin. It's got, got a fin. It. Big time. It's a beauty, <laughs> though. Yeah. No keepers today. Man, they fight the paper when you don't get them all tangled up. Guy. In a minute. When that fish got all confused when we got in those weeds. See ya. Thanks for playing though. Thanks for biting. <laughs> nice. Yep. Hundreds of times, hundreds of times. At higher water, and then you come here in low water, you run into the rocks all the time. No keepers today, but we'll be back tomorrow Ooh, or the next day. No fry. <laughs> Concord. Too many to even figure out where to begin. I mean, if you want to make grape jelly, I think you got enough. <laughs> yep.
All right. We got some food. <laughs> this is just for fun. And we're going to see about that. Is, some people think they're cute when they're like that. They are cute. They're really that good. Come on, what's cuter than an acorn? <laughs> you can make <laughs> you're feeling like a little Russian guy. Hey, it smells so good. And these smell good. And that's about 22 pounds if there's an apple, which my ears are like needing right now. Smoked salmon, Eli caught a couple days ago. Boneless. Delicious. Add the salmon in there. I pour it in as a sauce. So we've got that. We're making we're making a, a real would normally be a ham and cheese. You might need white bechamel. We're making a smoked salmon and cheese bechamel. I think that's what that was, right? A white sauce, but then we'll save some cheese for the top later. And we haven't put anything in the bechamel except for uh, these ingredients. We didn't have any salt smoked yet. Smoked salmon and cheese, because smoked salmon is salty. Yes, except for this is actually a... All-time comfort food. Uh, you really just don't want to cook. Shit. Like that one's 100 degrees outside. Well, you can't anymore. Mm. It's always freaking. It tastes like the I would most do this outdoors all day. Salmon all biscuit. Long. When you're, if it was freaking, you didn't. You could have an open fire and you could try to learn how to do this like we did in a, a Dutch oven. Cook stuff like this, but you can't make this. Oh, the oven's already heating up. <laughs> Boy, I could even use a little more cheese. Why not, huh? Yeah, more cheese. It's got a lot of milk. I saw a lady and she was making queso fresco and she had like 18 gallons of whole milk in her. I'm back at the top. The top's been like that for a while. Elderberry wine. I don't want to drink elderberry wine. I want to drink younger berry wine. It's smelling like that. Oh boy. Looks rich. It does. Looks really good. I wish I could force myself to let you go back. What? I don't know. Just rip all that shit out of here. It cost me 400 bucks. She had a little soccer player. He just ripped all that here. You could peel up. You could peel some out of there right now if you had to. <laughs> if you had, had to. to. Let's Let's start. Oh yeah, that's good. Told it's shape. Great. Not completely set, but do we ever wait for that around here? We can't wait. We're hungry. We don't wait for that. <laughs> We're patient. You go in your garden. Just going off. Basic Thai pepper knowledge. It's hot as shit. It's hot as shit, Eli. That's good. I like hot. Yeah. It makes it feel good. Mmm. A little bit. That's got a good chili flavor to it, too. I say it Not just hot, but it has a flavor of chili. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if uh, you had a yeah, dry I do. chili. <laughs> There's plenty of deer meat around here. Hi, babies.
comes Eli to pick us up in his boat. Ready for push off, Eli? Mm -hmm. Casting off all lines. <laughs> Fishing for approximately 20 seconds. First cast right in the lane. Oh, he is flipping out down there. Wish we could eat it. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing. Eli night. is fishing on this side of the boat for Chinook. He is using bait on the bottom. Tubby and I are fishing on this side of the boat for sliver salmon. We're using plugs. We've already hooked a couple. Landed one. No sign of Chinook yet, though. They were very yeah. deep. It's a weird technique. Yeah. Hard to tell really from this far away. No, he's got a fan. Definitely got a fan. For all those folks at home, fish have to be fin clipped to keep them here. Classic silver action. <laughs> Probably gonna get your lure off there. There it goes. Got the hook wrapped around the line. I know, it was super light. It was rather than. Then twice. It's hard to do when you got the old school hook.
Make sure you cut the right one. <laughs> oh, wait. That stuff all over you. If you want to underwind it. Good smaller. Almost a pounder. Like a pounder. Blink. Some fresh line on. Toby's taking a pass. Eli's got one on. Toby's got one on too. What's that? That's a run cut though. Sweet. Gotta let him go. Let that one go too. I'll stay pretty sure it died. Oh, yeah. Got a fin? Uh huh. Spunky little suckers, though, and they don't get curled up, man. Man. Gotta check your yeah. knots and whatnot. Yeah, <laughs> Too rocky and bumpy up there to get over the top. But I got a drill down here, we can try.
Yeah, he looks so delicious though. Yeah, she's got a strong one on. Got him with a single hook in the back. Nice, easy release. He's gasping. Here we go, the second one landed today. <laughs> 